What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUp Essentials for iPad. So in today's video, we're going to get started working with the iPad version of SketchUp by learning how the home screen works, how to manage your files, other things like that. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started by um, just going through kind of the home space and how you can use it to manage your different files. Um, this is where you're gonna start all of your projects out from, um, access your different files and things that you've uh, worked with recently, other things like that. So um, first off, there's the button for create new. So create new is going to do exactly what it sounds like. It's gonna create a new project. So you can also click the drop down and you can set the uh, format of any files that you create. So if you want this to be feet and inches or if you use metric, you can set this to be metric using that drop down right there. So there is the option for open from, which is going to allow you to open SketchUp files directly from your iPad. So if you import those externally or something like that, that's going to allow you to do that. So over here on the right hand side of the page, um, there's an icon in the upper right hand corner where you can access your information about your account. So you can use this to sign in and out, other things like that. It's going to show you your plan information. So over here on the right hand side, there's options for the way that you sort the files that are located down here, right? Because right now what this is showing me, and I'm going to click the X on this right here so that I just have this whole thing as a screen. But what this is showing me right now is this is showing me all of the recent projects um, that I've worked with in SketchUp. And so we'll take a look at those in a second, but you can use this to sort by name. Um, you can sort by modification date if you want to do that. So um, whatever you've modified most recently, as well as by size. So the smallest to the largest like this. And so you can use that to sort the way that your recent files are shown. You can also click on this button right here, and then you can see your files in more of a list format. So if you have a bunch of files that you're looking for um, and you want to go through them quickly, you can go to the list format instead of the thumbnail format. Now I want to talk just for a second about um, the way that your files are stored inside of SketchUp for iPad, because really there's two ways that we're going to pay the most attention to. Um, so there's going to be files that are stored directly on your iPad. So if you look, right, um, some of these have a little folder next to them. The folder is indicating those files are stored directly on my iPad itself. So I've created a new file and I've saved them on the iPad. But you can see with the little folder icon right here, this is indicating that those are stored on my device. So the others have this little icon right here. This icon indicates that things are stored on Trimble Connect. So Trimble Connect is Trimble's like cloud management software for files. And you can actually see more information about that by clicking on the button right here in order to access your folders on Trimble Connect. And so for me, um, I have multiple different projects that are stored in here. So you can create different folders. And then when you click inside of them, you can save um, inside of different folders inside of your overall SketchUp folder. So like, for example, when I did my 30 day for modeling series or 30 days learning how to model series in SketchUp free, all of those files got saved on Trimble Connect. So you can see I can access them here. I can access them on the cloud version of SketchUp and I should be able to download them on the desktop version as well. OK, so going back to the home page for just a second, and we're going to go ahead and sort these by recent for right now. But notice how each one of these projects, if you click on them, you can actually open up the project. Right. So if I just tap on this, um, it let me open up the project inside of SketchUp for iPad. Um, if you want to ever go back to your home page, you can just click on the home button right here. But notice how each one of these has a little uh, a little menu with three dots on it like this. That's going to have a bunch of different options in here for managing your files. Right. So, for example, if I wanted to get rid of a file, so this one right here, I can click on this three dots and then I can click on delete. And so when I delete this, this is going to be gone. Right. The file is no longer going to exist on my iPad anymore. So you can use this to delete different files. You can also do some other things as well. So like, for example, so if I look at this cut components file right here, notice how that's a Trimble Connect file. Well, let's say that I wanted this to be local to my iPad so I can work on it without having to connect to Trimble Connect. I can click on the option right here for make available offline. And so when I do that, notice how it's going to download that file and see how this icon changed to something that's dark instead of light. That's just indicating that that is now stored locally and you can access it offline. If you want to turn that back off, you can just click the toggle right here and it'll delete that local copy. So there's other options in here too, like if you want to rename 
a file, you can do that from here. You can also download a copy in SKP format if you want to do that. So if you do want that local version stored in the files um, on your iPad, instead of in Trimble Connect, you can click on the download a copy option in order to do that. So there's also an option in here to share your file. And so if you want to share your file, what you can do is you can click on two different options, right? You can either click on original model copy. And what that's going to do is that's going to pop up the screen that you usually see on an iPad where you can share files in different ways, whether it be by text or to different apps. If you wanted to do that, that's going to give you the option to do that right here. That'll send the actual SketchUp file by whatever format you select. Or you can also do a share view only link. And so if you share that view only link and you paste it in the URL right here, and you can email that as well, what that's gonna do is that's gonna pop up a viewer that even people that don't use SketchUp or don't have a license for SketchUp can use. So you can use this in order to share this with people right here. And notice how it's got options on the right hand side to view the scenes um, that are in the file, as well as do things like zoom out other things like that. So they can actually use this in order to fly around in the model in the web-based version like this. So if you do want to share a file for someone else to view, that's a great option. And so you can also export. So if I click on this drop down right here, notice how I have a number of different file types that I can export to. So I can export to OBJ, STL, and the Pixar USDZ file. So if you want to export those to a different file type, you can do that from directly inside of this tool. So there's a couple other tabs over here on the left-hand side of the page. There's the getting started section. And so that's a very useful section. If you are looking for some help, um, you can click on these and it's going to open up different files. And those files are actually going to walk you through how to use different tools, right? So they've all got scenes set up that walk you through how to do different things, right? So this one right here is going to teach you how to draw rectangles and boxes and other things like that. So there's very helpful getting started stuff over here. There's also a button over here where you can actually provide feedback. So if there's something you'd like to see inside of SketchUp for iPad, um, you can either click on the email us or this will take you to the uh, SketchUp forums and specifically the SketchUp for iPad section where you can actually ask for help or um, send different feedback, other things like that. Um, one thing to note is Mike right here from the SketchUp team. He's uh, the project manager on the SketchUp for iPad project. He's actually very active in the forum. So he reads all of the different posts specifically in this area. So there, if there is any kind of feedback or anything you'd like to see, leaving a forum post is a great way to um, at least get his feedback on if something is possible. And then down below, there's just some about information about the version of your iOS, as well as your version of SketchUp that you're currently running. So, all right, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Now we're gonna move into um, learning how to navigate and move around in 3D inside of SketchUp for iPad. So as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.